What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coaster Nostra, back at you guys with another sneaker review, unboxing, and of course that on-feet look with the sock combo to match, guys. Let's jump right into another one. All right, guys, the Kyrie 6 train is not slowing down. The Nike Kyrie 6 in the USA white colorway. The colorway on the side of the box is white slash white in a US men's size 11, guys. Let's rip these out of the box and check this colorway out, guys. All right, guys, there they are in hand, the Nike Kyrie 6 USA white colorway. These are clean, even though they're a little bit plain Jane, which I think has been my complaint about some of these Kyrie 6 drops, especially here lately. There's been sort of a lull in some of the drops where some of the inspirations behind some of these colorways are just not as original as we've come to expect from the Kyrie line. And honestly, me personally, I feel like you can apply that statement to this colorway, especially right on the heels of that Navy USA colorway that dropped about a month ago or so. Everything's sort of convoluted because of the shutdown and everything else. Some of these release dates are really up in the air and hard to keep track of. I personally can really attest to that, guys, because this colorway I really wasn't even aware of until I just walked in the store. Day of release and there they were on shelves. It kind of took me back a little bit because I'm usually pretty on point with these Kyrie colorways and nothing usually sneaks out on me but I have to say for the first time in years guys this one snuck out and not to say I was super excited about it when I did see it on shelves. I do like the colorway. It's mostly the hits of red that personally draw me in on this shoe, that strap, that back heel counter. I really really like the placements of the hits of red and what they did with this color way however the colorway itself really honestly looks like something that you could Nike ID which for me is a little bit of a dig on the colorway simply because the Nike ID options are really almost non-existent it's really just as basic as paneling on the particular areas of the shoe and you being able to control what color you want to throw on there from a list of like let's say maybe 12 colors sometimes it's a little bit more sometimes it's less depending on what section of the shoe that you're trying to color so you might be able to color this whole entire textile portion of the shoe white you could do the whole midsole white you could actually you know maybe do the back spikes in a different color the all-seeing eye on the outsole and the heel counter you could do in a different color sometimes they'll let you do a little bit of a gradient fade or something like that but guys that's really it other than that you might be able to throw some speckling on the midsole here and there and that's really as crazy as they let you run with the Nike ID options with the exception of maybe throwing a custom sort of ID logo on the tongue or on the back side of the tongue which to me is really not that cool it's always been kind of lame because the symbols themselves are just very basic it's just sort of whatever font they chose to throw on the tongue and you can kind of play with maybe two initials on that tongue or whatever so to me once again guys we have another colorway that drops that looks like it could be a Nike ID option which disappoints me guys there's just not a whole ton of originality with the shoe there's no real one section of the shoe that features features something, a design, you know, such as the quilting on those N7s that we just reviewed, or the lenticulars that we found on all the back halves of all of the city pack. There's nothing really like that about this colorway to really hook you. Now, having said that, the colorway is simple and it's clean. Me, personally, I'm usually not a sucker for anything USA themed or colored, but I do like this shoe. I do like the color placements on this shoe. As I said before, the hits of red on this shoe really pop to me. I think they're placed well, and in contrast on the rest of the white upper of the shoe, I think they actually look pretty good, especially the strap on the shoe. I really like the red strap. While it does look dope on the lateral portion of the shoe, I think when you turn and look at the actual medial portion of the shoe, where of course the Roman numeral six is featured, I think that might be my favorite look at this sneaker. That sort of hit a red that dominates the middle of the shoe is just a nice little contrast right there. As we stated before, you got a big hit of red on that back heel counter where we see the all-seeing eye once again right there focused in the center of the healer's hand. If you've been rocking with my reviews, you know I'm a pretty big fan of that heel counter. I feel like it locks you in and gives you the confidence to make the movements that you want to make on court while being forgiving and something that's not necessarily going to dig into your Achilles or your heel and sort of leave you with bruises or whatever. I've worn Kyrie sixes I can't tell you how many times and I've never slid them off feet and had blisters on my feet 
or on the back of my heels, which is one of the most uncomfortable feelings because guys, you don't really have a lot of skin or a lot of meat back there to really protect you from that rubbing that sometimes shoes tend to hit you with especially in the era of loose lacing, right guys? The sock liner on the shoe is gonna be that navy blue color that we see featured in a lot of portions of the shoe to sort of accent it. Again, to contrast from what I would say is probably about a 65 to 75% white shoe. Both the swooshes on the medial and lateral portion of the shoe are gonna be outlined in blue stitching. They once again chose to hit you with that pretty forgiving hit of leather on the back half of the shoe on the medial and lateral portion. And also guys, that leather looks pretty buttery. They've done a good job, in my opinion, on all these colorways that have had leather on the back half of this shoe. I feel like these colorways, while they're sort of plain Jane, just like a lot of these Kyrie's guys, in maybe five, six years, these things are gonna be really, really appreciated. These things are really gonna turn some heads. And the nostalgia and stuff like that, of course, is just gonna continue to grow as people dirty up pairs and we see pairs go by the wayside. The Kyrie Irving logo on the tongue is going to be red. So once again, a nice little placement of red right there. Of course, we've got the all textile white toe box for one of the first times, I want to say, they chose to hit you with the little placements of stitching on those bottom two laces that they sort of love to throw multicolor hits on. They've actually chose to just go ahead and throw white on white right there. So no real distinction right there. I think that might have been kind of dope if they'd thrown some red and some blue stitching and sort of maybe mismatch the two. And speaking of mismatch, guys, my favorite feature of this shoe, when you turn and look at the outsole, the one thing about the outsoles that they did is they actually reversed the color scheme on the outsoles. So while the white placements are the same on both the left and the right shoes outsoles, the actual spikes and the color of the all-seeing eye itself are going to be reversed. So on this left shoe, guys, you got a red all-seeing eye with blue spikes. While on that right shoe, guys, we have the reverse. You've got red spikes with a blue all-seeing eye. Pretty dope, in my opinion. A subtle little feature, something people aren't really going to notice a whole lot, except for the fact that the spikes on the back half of the shoe that encroach on that midsole, you will see a little bit of variation right there because the grip on that outsole does actually extend right there. Another feature I really, really like is the actual blue speckling on the red strap itself which is featured pretty prominently. Definitely something that draws my eye. I'm always a sucker for speckling. It really seems the most prominent on the inner portion of the strap underneath that Roman numeral six that's right there. The actual plastic material that they went with on the Roman numeral six right there on all these colorways has been slightly different. And I think it's just to actually give a little bit more flexibility and longevity to the actual durability of this strap and its ability to sort of flex over the top of your shoe. I know one gripe that a lot of people have had about these shoes when you are playing with these shoes is that that midfoot strap is perhaps maybe not long enough because it's really, really easy for them to loosen up when you're playing in game and for you to have to really kind of bend over and really kind of reapply the Velcro on those straps pretty consistently throughout games, especially for my bigger feeded people out there trying to ball. Other than that, guys, we have all the sort of signature staples that you see on all these Kyries, a million all-seeing eyes all over the shoe, the hungry and humble labels on each shoe that are featured prominently between the first two laces of the shoe. You, of course, have that Zoom Turbo unit dressed in navy once again to distinguish it from the rest of the midsole, which is white. Guys, these are a clean colorway, something that I think I'm really gonna enjoy going forward. These definitely remind me of some of the USA Kobe's that had dropped in the past. Y'all know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. Any questions, guys, throw them down below. Try to hit you guys back. Much love, guys, for rocking with me and my review. Everybody, stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Peace, fam.